Welcome and welcome back, Collective. How's everyone doing? I'm sending you all good vibes and I hope you're feeling great. So, I've been sitting here for a while, balancing my energies, preparing for this reading. And I'm getting a very unusual like feeling in this energy. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what I've been going through to kind of start all of this out. So as I sat down and I started to get, you know, in tune, I set the decks of cards on the table. As soon as I did that, each one of the decks, as I set it on the table, it was almost like they were popping and the cards would literally like spread out. So I would have to fix it. And I'm like, that's odd you know once in a while you'll have your decks become jumpy but every single one of them for this reading is jumpy so that definitely you know i'm paying attention to that um the other thing that's coming through right now is i'm smelling it's either a perfume or it's like a incense it's herbal right but it's got like I've never smelled this before, so I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna try to describe what I'm smelling. It's like floral, but it's also like musky earth. And when I say like musky earth, it's like this, this scent of like wet dirt with like this floral. It's so unusual. So I really find all of this energy really interesting and I wanna know more. So. You know, let's dive into this reading to find out what the universe has to say to us today because, yeah, this one, this has some very interesting energy in it. All right, universe, please share with us your message today. Whoa. Yeah, look at these cards. Somebody doesn't want this message to come out. Oh, bridge of contrast, hardship, introspection. Wow. So this is like, this is what you're facing right now. This is like a rebirth. You have experienced extreme hardship. Oh my. Um, okay, what else here? <gasps> Oh, shadows of malintent. Okay, cleansing, karmic balance, discretion. This is why you are facing hardship right now. Now that scent is starting to make sense to me. All right, so, okay. Um, eight of swords. Wow, hopeless, helpless, left with nothing, bridge to contrast, shadows of malintent, oh, oh, three of swords, isolation, wow, broken heart, betrayal, back to that bridge of contrast, they, oh my goodness, somebody wanted you to suffer, protect what you love, it is your duty and responsibility, wow. Shadows of malintent, you need to protect yourself and those you love. Eight of swords, three of swords. Wow. This is deep. Oh my goodness. Be the alchemist and transform your experiences into wisdom. Wow. This, this is a profound reading you have been going through the eight of swords the three of swords basically the bridge of contrast because of someone's shadows of malintent and just like in that card the light is shining down on that puppet when i created that card that's what it means it means the truth has come into the light the person who has done this to you is no longer in the shadows it is being revealed to you so that you can make necessary changes. Be the alchemist and transform the shadows into light. Wow. I am, oh my goodness, the chills. Um, wow. I just heard Alex. I heard Christina. 
Chrissy, so Christina or Chrissy for short. I'm seeing a woman's face. There's red in her hair. Wow, so this is either you or the person doing this to you. I just heard Junior, Travis, Randy. Wow, so these names may have significance for someone listening. I feel it just got very humid. Whoa. I live in the desert, so this is not my humidity. Um, I hear rattles. I hear crickets. It is all going back to the shadows of malintent. Oh, wow. I see a black cat with a white patch on its face. I feel like this cat is a message from spirit, from source. So this is for someone who has a cat, whether it's that cat with the black, I mean, with the, that's black with the white patch on its face. It doesn't matter if you have a cat and you are very connected to this cat, that cat, wow, I'm getting chills. Whew, that cat is your familiar. That cat is saying you need to be aware of the shadows. And that that cat is always protecting you. It's been roaming at night. It's been talking to you a lot more. It's telling you about this malintent. I'm being shown a movie. I'm seeing all these different scenes. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm seeing red dirt being put across um, a threshold. Um, this movie... Oh, what is this movie? Um, there's a woman, she's got blonde hair. I am, what is her name? It's going to come to me. It's important. You need to know this. Okay. <sighs> Centering my energy. Give me a second. Oh, this is playing in these dark energies right now. Is overwhelming, but you need this message. Um, the movie's called, it's a key. It's a key. The name is a key. Um, it's called the skeleton key. Okay, I got it. The woman, the car the person, her name is uh, Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson, skeleton key. This is set in New Orleans. So this, this might have to do with New Orleans. This might have to do with New Orleans culture. This might have to do with hoodoo, voodoo. Wow. I keep hearing, I don't know. So something about, I don't know. Wow. Wow. This is coming through in all different ways. You need to listen deep because this is going to be for whoever has clicked on this video. This is not just evil eye. This is not just envy and jealousy. This is intentional for many of you. This is not for all of you, but either way, evil eye is being sent to you. Jealousy, envy. Wow, I'm seeing so many different images right now. I don't even know if I can find the words to describe all of this. Whoever is doing this to you, they want to hurt you. They want to take everything from you. This person is evil. Oh my God goodness and this has been ongoing for some time maybe it started as evil eye and it has escalated because you, they're not seeing you fall they're not seeing things end for you so either you're good at hiding it or you are navigating this storm like a boat in the middle of a hurricane and you are surviving these storms so this person can't see you falling they want to see you end I'm literally being shown, wow, they are live. Their lives, like their life is, oh my goodness. It's like, it's like being ripped apart, torn to shreds because they're aiming at, at you, but it's like a boomerang. It's tearing them apart and it's making them more venomous, more angry. They want to destroy you even more because their life is being destroyed. It's just like making them more venomous. It's like this evil, toxic snake that's like, no. The more they suffer, the more they want you to suffer. Wow. What they don't get is that we live in a world of universal laws. So what you put out, you will 
some way, somehow, this life or the next, get it back. It's the law. It's the law of nature. It's the law of the universe. It's the law of karma. What you put out, you get back. And it's like they don't care. Wow. It's like they don't care. They want, this is like the end. Wow. This is the energy of revenge in an extreme way. They feel wronged in some way. And this wronged feeling is extreme revenge. I just heard eye for an eye. So they feel for some reason you have wronged them. However that applies. Whether you did or didn't, maybe it's perceived or not, misunderstanding. However it applies, I am getting this in, oh my goodness, so many different ways. They are so out of alignment with source. Wow. They are so out of alignment with themselves. They can't see how they're hurting themselves. It's like the teachings of Buddha. I always go back to this teaching. This teaching was like the moment I realized that I couldn't, like I could no longer be my own worst enemy. It's like you're holding onto a hot coal, ready to throw it to, you know, at your enemy. The person who has harmed you, wronged you, you're going to burn them with this hot coal. But the only person guaranteed to get burned is you. You're the one holding the hot coal, the revenge. I'm going to get you back. I'm going to guarantee to get burned. And maybe I will burn you, but I'm going to burn doubly because I'm holding onto this hot coal. And I'm seeing it so you need to hear it because maybe you're the one doing this to someone else and the universe is aligning this where you're saying, you know, these dark spells you're doing, <laughs> they got consequences. Sometimes it's better to let go and let karma do what it's going to do because a person who's done you wrong will get it back. Even if you don't get to see it or even gloat or get to enjoy seeing them get theirs. It always comes now or later when they're young or maybe it's when they're old. It's coming. It always comes. Wow. So this person, whoever this is, is doing this. They're out of alignment. I just heard February 5th. So that's going to have meaning to someone. This could be a date where maybe something was done, a date of a spell, or even maybe you have done something on February 5th that broke the chains of this energy, shining a light on it, however it applies. Make note of that date. But what I'm also seeing now is the water bearer. So maybe this represents the date within Aquarius season. So maybe this is the astrological sign of Aquarius. Maybe you're an Aquarius. Maybe this person doing this to you is an Aquarius. I just heard, whoa. I just heard Aquarius moon. <laughs> uh, okay. That's interesting. Um, so that's definitely specific for someone. And I it's just, I know of people with an Aquarius moon. Um, so this could be happening to you if you have an Aquarius moon. Or maybe you're doing this to someone if you have an Aquarius moon. I don't know. However it applies, I'm just going to give it all to you because there's a lot coming through. This reading's probably going to be longer than usual. Um, so whoever is doing this, they're sending dark malice. Dark malintent has basically attempted to anchor itself in your life. This is a person or even a small group because I'm seeing a group of people sit around candles. You know, this is like someone casting a dark veil over you wishing emptiness, desolation, nothingness, eight of swords. They've aimed to, you know, ensnare you in a web of despair, leaving you trapped, powerless, and isolated. Wow, this is evil. This is calculated. This is intentional. They've thrown the heaviest of their dark wishes your way. You know, this heart-wrenching sorrow of the Three of Swords. You know, love turned sour, dreams shattered. That card. 
the bridge of contrast, homelessness, nothingness, emptiness. But this is where the universe is saying no more. And then in the shadows of malintent, the light is shining down on the poppet. The tables are turning. You have come across this reading. Either you've already discovered it or you're about to discover what someone is doing to you. You know, this is where the energy of the reading shifts from darkness cast upon you to the light being shown to you. You know, despite this heavy shadow, you're starting to break free. You've begun to untangle the webs woven around you. You're about to, or you have already started breaking these spells, cutting these cords, clearing the murky waters of karmic debts. However it applies, no judgment. The clearing is coming and if you haven't felt this shift yet, pay attention because it's coming. I'm seeing a full moon. So this is coming by the next full moon. Whenever you hear this reading, because this is timeless, whenever you hear this reading, the next full moon, the shift is coming. And it's going to be a significant turning point. It's like a crack in the dark sky. That's what I'm being shown where the light starts to pour in it's a sign of liberation of the chains breaking clarity emerging the depths of confusion lifting wow you have been through hell is what i'm seeing you have been through horribleness you have felt pain sorrow emptiness isolation wow you name it you felt it and someone did this to you. Why they did it, how they did it, it's all varying. So it's whatever applies to you specifically. But you hold the key to liberate yourself from these chains. And yes, <laughs> wow, I'm overwhelmed right now. Yes, your situation has been dire. You know, this is the swords of fear betrayal and they encircle you. But remember the swords have not bound you. The blindfold is tied by your own hand because you need to be able to understand this has been done to you, okay? The swords in front of you may have been hurting you, but now you can flip a switch and use those same swords to cut through the fog and force it to lift. I see you wielding this pain. Oh my goodness. My hands are literally like, oh, I feel this vibration. Instead of this pain destroying you, now it's like you have risen like a phoenix from the fire and you've lifted your hands to hold these swords and now you're cutting through. You're removing the blindfold. You know this is not just your fate and destiny, which might have been the blindfold. I'm just, you know, a unlucky person. This is just bad luck. No, this was done to you. And this is the universe shining a light on what's been hidden from you. The universe is saying, you hold the keys to your freedom. Become aware. In this awareness, this is light. Darkness cannot survive where there is awareness. You know, <laughs> and this is, this is powerful because, you know, the universe is not going to mince its words toward you right now. The universe is saying in this awareness, if you have come across this reading, feel it because it's not going to mince its words to you. It's not going to sugarcoat it to you. You are now aware of this puppet. You are aware of this energy. You are aware of this ill will. So now, in that awareness, in that light, arm yourself, not with weapons, but with ancient wisdom of protection. Sage, palo santo, salt aren't just elements, alchemist. They're your shields against the unseen forces. Wow, and I'm seeing it again. That scene from 
the skeleton key where she lines the red dirt on the threshold. This is saying, line your doorways, guard your windows, protect what you love, create a sanctuary that is safe from any negativity reaching out to you. I do not accept this energy. Claim it. Own it. The universe is saying, stop ignoring what you know. You know. I just heard you need to take this serious. So for someone, maybe not for all of you, but for someone, maybe you have noticed something being off in your life and maybe you're gaslighting yourself. I just heard, Ugh, I'm just being paranoid. Wow, it's like thunder. Whoa. I heard, no, you are not just paranoid. Wow. It's echoing. So yeah, you've been ignoring it. You've been blowing it off. You are totally acting like it's not real. You're just thinking you're unlucky. No. If you have you know, been feeling unexplainably drained, if you're being haunted by nightmares, if you're dealing with unexpected conflicts, the universe is saying to you clearly, it's time to look beyond the 3D, beyond the physical. There's more at play here. You know, energies are being thrown at you like darts. But remember, you know, their power, whoever's doing this to you, their power dims in the light of your awareness. Shadows cannot exist in light. You are the light because you are aware. Be aware and now take measures to protect yourself. You know, the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords, they speak of hardship, but they also, you know, whisper their secrets of emancipation. The pain afflicted upon you is actually a test, a harsh lesson in the school of life. But here's the thing. The card on the table is the answer, the reminder, the awareness. You, my friend, are the alchemist, which means you can transform anything. You know, transform these bricks of malice that are being thrown at you. Transform them into the foundation of your new empire. See it different. You know, build your stronghold with this energy being thrown. Transform it. I keep hearing it. You're an alchemist. Use that energy to your advantage. I just heard Leo. And I'm being drawn back to the eight and the three of swords. And now I'm being shown a calendar. And on that calendar, August 3rd is circled, which is in Leo season. So this is specific for someone. I just heard birthday. So maybe that's someone's birthday. Just be aware of that. August 3rd, Leo, birthday. Huh, interesting. So the universe is very clear with the cards on this table. Protect what you hold dear. That's you. That's your loved ones. You know, create barriers, not just of salt and sage, but of positive energy. Use affirmations and sit with gratitude. You know, let this malicious energy bounce off your shields. Reflect it back to the senders I just heard. Return to sender. Nothing being sent my way can hurt me. You know, the universal law of cause and effect is at play and what goes around comes around. And so you have been through turbulent waters, but the message is clear. You're cleansing, you're releasing, and you're transforming. You're turning the tables on those who wished your downfall. So be the alchemist of your life. You know, see this as a mantra. I am the alchemist of my life. I transform darkness into light. I transform sorrow into wisdom. 
I transform malicious intent into opportunities for growth. So the universe is very clear with this message, with this reading. You know, protect your energy. Love fiercely. Fill yourself with gratitude. And allow the energy to break through this fog and release what no longer serves you. You are overcoming the shadows of malintent. You are overcoming malicious intent. Release it, let it go. And remember, you control the outcome because you are the alchemist of your life. Wow. What a reading. Um, so thank you so very much for joining me for this reading. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. I look forward to seeing you in the next reading.